Hey guys, how's it going? I know it's been a very long time since I posted, but I'm back now and I've got a ton of awesome videos in the works that I'm super pumped to start making. That being said, I made a video on Modern Family a while back and never got around to uploading it, so here it is. 20 facts you didn't know about Modern Family. While Ty Burrell was working on his graduate degree at Penn State, he decided to save money by living out of a van which for some reason doesn't surprise me all too much. My dating life wasn't great. Yeah, Weirdly enough, back. women were a little suspicious right. <laughs> of a guy who lives in his van. Fast forward a couple decades, and Ty Burrell has now won two Emmys for his role in Modern Family. Eric Stone Street began dressing up as Fizbo when he was nine years old. It was actually his dream back in the day to be a circus clown, and by the time he was 11, he was performing at kids' birthday parties. Stone Street has said in interviews that it was his way as a young man to express his desire to entertain and perform, and it was really one of the first signs that he wanted to become an actor. He's not sure where the name Fizbo came from, but he had parents who thought the whole routine was funny and cute, and a grandma who would make his costumes. When Julie Bowen auditioned for the role of Claire Dunphy, she was heavily pregnant with her twin sons Gus and John. And although Bowen was convinced this would take her out of the running, she won the part anyways. But she still hadn't reached her due date when it came time to shoot the pilot, so the production team hit her belly with cereal boxes and laundry baskets. Since the very beginning of Modern Family, all the actors and actresses made a pact to always submit themselves to award ceremonies in supporting roles, and never leading. Um, I I wouldn't be standing here without Jesse Tyler Ferguson. There is no uh, Cam without Mitch. Um. In Modern Family, Mitchell and Cam went to Vietnam to adopt Lily. However, in real life, Vietnam's laws prohibit adoptions by same-sex couples or single parents. Looks like someone on the show didn't do their research. Uh, just turn it off. I can't turn it off, it's who I am. The music. Oh, yes, the music. <laughs> Sarah Hyland has kidney dysplasia. She was diagnosed when she was 9, and in 2012, her father gave her his kidney when she needed a transplant. It's weird because it's like, oh, I have your kidney in me now. <laughs> in real life, Jesse Tyler Ferguson had to come out to his father three times in order for him to accept it. So the writers made that part of Mitchell's story on Modern Family. Rob Hubel was being considered for the part of Phil Dunphy, but upon reading the script, he really didn't like it. After the immediate popularity of Modern Family, he reportedly felt like an idiot, but clearly there were no hard feelings as Hubel went on to play Phil's nemesis in one episode fittingly titled, The One That Got Away. With the zipper. Wow, Phil. I mean, wow. That's your wife? It would appear so. Great to see you, Glenn. Nolan Gould, the actor who plays Luke, has been a member of Mensa since he was 4 years old. He has an IQ of 150 and graduated high school at the age of 13. Ooh, everybody is stupid except me. Ha ha ha. I am funny. In season 1, Jay shows off his Brazilian Jiu Jitsu skills when he puts Mitchell in a rear naked choke. What you may not have known is that O'Neill is actually a student at the Gracie Jiu Jitsu Academy in California. He's a black belt now, but it took him a while to earn that status. Each year, Nielsen tracks data on TV viewership to find out who's watching what shows. After the company released its 2015 stats, one thing was clear. Rich people love Modern Family. It was the most popular show among viewers in the 18 to 49 age bracket whose households earned an average annual income over $200,000. Modern Family was also the second most viewed show among people who earned over 100k. Mitch and Cam's adopted daughter Lily was initially played by twin sisters Ella and Jaden Hiller. The girls appeared in the series for the first two seasons, but acting quickly wore them out. Their mom Michelle said, Halfway through season 2, their personalities had started to develop, and it was really clear to us that they weren't enjoying their time on set. So we told the producers the girls wouldn't be coming back. Those producers apparently tried to sway the Hillers with more money, but they wouldn't budge. So Aubrey Anderson Emmons was chosen as a replacement, and she has played Lily ever since. Aww, Aubrey, you look so pretty today. Can somebody tell me what the heck she's saying? 
the Islamic Republic of Iran Broadcasting produced the frame-by-frame -frame remake of Modern Family entitled Haft Song, which premiered on June 30th, 2014. In their version, the same-sex relationship between Cam and Mitchell was of course replaced by a heterosexual relationship. Also, Haley Dunphy's character is played by a teenage boy. Sofia Vergara watched Married with Children growing up in Colombia, where the voices were dubbed in Spanish. Solo importa que yo llegue a ver a Dios. <laughs> she never realized that it wasn't Ed O'Neill saying Al Bundy's lines in Spanish and was surprised to find that he couldn't speak a lick of Spanish when they first met. Well, no problem, lo pumpkito. <laughs> Carlos. You may have noticed that Jay reads the same prop newspaper on Modern Family that his character Al Bundy read on Married with Children. Many shows actually use the same prop newspaper because all of the photos and text have been legally cleared for broadcasting. The adults of Modern Family are paid very, very well. Ed O'Neill, Julie Bowen, Ty Burrell, Jesse Tyler Ferguson, Eric Stone Street, and Sofia Vergara reportedly make about $500,000 per episode, while all the children except Lily will be making more than 100 k per episode for seasons 9 and 10 of the show. Craig T. Nelson was offered the role of Jay Pritchett, but decided to pass on the project because he wasn't offered enough money. The next year, Nelson signed on for Parenthood. The gorgeous Dunphy House, situated in the Los Angeles Cheviot Hills neighborhood, sold for $2.15 million. It was originally built in 2006, and now that the house is sold, 20th Century Fox pays a fee to the new owners every time exterior scenes are filmed. This is because only the exteriors of the house were used to depict the Dunphy residence, as any interior scenes are shot on sound stages. Ariel Winter was only 11 years old when she was cast as Alex Dunphy and was always accompanied by her mother on set. According to the cast and crew, her mother was always talking down to her about her weight and performance, up to the point where the producers wanted her banned from set. In 2012, Winter was removed from her mother's home following allegations of physical and emotional abuse. And in 2016, Winter announced that she was legally divorced from her parents. So, if you've ever wondered why everyone on Modern Family talks to the camera, there's actually a reason behind it. The show was initially going to be called My American Family, and the camera crew is supposed to have been run by Geert Florst, a Dutch foreign exchange student who had lived with Jay's family. But Geert got cut before Modern Family entered production because show creators Steve Leviton and Christopher Lloyd decided he was unnecessary. The show was then simply shot documentary style without the fictitious camera crew. Success is 1% inspiration, 98% perspiration, and 2% attention to detail. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe and have a good day.